It's official, AMD confirms RX 8000 GPUs come with way faster ray tracing along with official release info. But before I get to that, AMD is releasing their monster APU along with a ton of other chips and the 9800X3D destroys last gen. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, it's looking like January is set to be one wild month for releases. As you can see right here, actually it's down here, we have a leak originally from the Chip Hell forums and yeah, it looks like AMD is preparing just a gigantic launch. All of this is set for release at CES, which is early January. So let's go over a bunch of this, it really is wild. Starting things off on the laptop side of things, we have Kraken Point. And these are basically ultra low power APUs set to challenge Intel's new Lunar Lake. Then we have Strix Halo, and these of course are set to be some monster APUs, likely made for mostly workstations, things like that. But they are set to come, at least if the rumors are correct, though of course we've seen a ton of those. These are set to come with an integrated GPU with up to 40 CUs. Moving right along, we have Fire Range and Fire Range X3D. And that X3D should really kind of show you that these are set to be the really high performance CPUs. Think of high end desktop gaming and as well as workstations, but of course, ones that wouldn't use Strix Halo. Then we have handheld. These are set to be AMD's next generation Z series of processors, if you remember the Z1 Extreme as well as Z1. But this actually comes with three of them. We're looking at the Z2 Extreme, Z2, and Z2G. Moving right along, we have their next generation desktop GPUs. This is RDNA 4, think RX 8000. That's almost definitely what they're gonna be called, of course, unless AMD skips it and goes right to RX 9000. I don't know, but either way, RDNA 4 and AMD has more or less confirmed this, but I'll get to that in just a few. But not only that, they're apparently also planning the next generation X3D, obviously the 9800 X3D is set to come November 7th, but these are, at least if this is correct, apparently coming as well, and they're coming very shortly after, once again, in January. Basically, next year's CES is set to be a monster event. All of these are coming from AMD, and if the leaks are correct, NVIDIA's next generation RTX 5000 series is also coming next year at CES. And if you wanna keep up to date on all of those releases as they happen next year, make sure you subscribe to GamerMelt. And next up for today, AMD's next-gen 9800X3D is set to destroy last-gen. As you can see right here, this one was originally found and shared by HXL, and it originally comes from basically the official Blender benchmark, so this comes from that database. And as you can see, so first we have the Ryzen 7 9800X3D, and it scored 323.76. Now, because of the fact that this is a database that we can compare it to other CPUs, when we compare it to last gen 7800X3D, as you can see, it beats it by a whopping 26%. We can actually see it right down here. So the 9800X3D, 323.76, while last gen's got 256.37. Now, when we compare it to Intel's newest generation Core Ultra 5 245K, as you can see, it does beat it, though we're talking 1.75 points. So we're talking margin of error here. Definitely not enough difference to matter really at all. And don't forget that we are talking Ryzen 7 versus Core Ultra 5. So when it comes to more multi-threaded workloads, it definitely does seem like Intel still takes the lead. This is of course just one benchmark, but it is rendering, so it should be using pretty much all of those cores. Either way though, when you compare it to AMD, it absolutely destroys last gen, yet obviously even when compared to Intel, it's set to completely obliterate it when it comes to gaming. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, at least according to this, well, this was originally shared by HXL, and I will say that they definitely are typically a very accurate leaker, they have been at least in the past, and according to them, so we know that the actual release or announcement or something we know that that's coming november 7th 
But according to HXL, the actual review embargo lifts November 6th, which does sort of tell us that the November 7th really could be a release, which means we're talking just over a week from now. So because of that, for when that does release, I'm gonna go ahead and have some affiliate links down in the description below. They don't cost you anything more and it helps the channel out. And lastly for today, if you remember a little while back, this was actually quite a long time ago, many months, before the PS5 Pro was officially announced, but if you remember, I discussed this leak where we talked about the fact that at least for the PS5 Pro, you could see two to three times, and even in some cases, four times, the ray tracing performance versus current gen RDNA 3. Now, technically, this is still somewhat RDNA 3, but according to leaks, and I believe it was also basically confirmed by Sony when they announced the PS5 Pro, but Basically, the ray tracing part of it is based on RDNA 4, while the rest of it is basically RDNA 3 or RDNA 3.5, I'm not really sure. But either way, the ray tracing part is set to be RDNA 4. And shortly after this, we actually heard, you can see right here, we have from Kepler that RDNA 3's ray tracing cores were basically RDNA 2 with some improvements but the RDNA 4 ray tracing looks completely different. Well, it looks like AMD's own CEO, Lisa Su, has actually confirmed this, or at least the part where it's set to get a massive performance boost. As you can see right here, this originally comes from AMD's Q3 earnings call, and first up, before I get to the ray tracing cores, as you can see, AMD CEO states, quote, we are on track to launch the first RDNA 4 GPUs in early 2025. And that of course makes the earlier leak for this being announced at CES look completely true. But she actually goes even further to state, quote, in addition to a strong increase in gaming performance, RDNA 4 delivers significantly higher ray tracing performance and adds new AI capabilities. Now, when we're talking those AI capabilities, she could be referring to FSR as well as frame generation. Don't forget that a little while back, we pretty much got confirmation from one of AMD's higher ups that they are in fact going AI based frame generation as well as frame interpolation. So that could be what they're referring to there, but whether it is or it isn't, the huge thing here is significantly higher ray tracing performance. Of course, pretty much everyone knows that when it comes to ray tracing, NVIDIA pretty much reigns supreme. So this actually could be a huge step for AMD's GPUs just because if they're able to come back and at least match NVIDIA's next gen GPUs when it comes to ray tracing or maybe even beat it, that could be a huge step for AMD. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for AMD's next-gen GPUs? Or are you more excited about their next-gen monster APU? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And as always, have a great day.